live to Canberra now for an update from Prime Minister Scott Morrison. Up the National Mental Health Commission. It has been two months now since National Cabinet first met. Indeed, leaders reminded me this morning that leaders have met more often in the past two months than around about the last 10 years over the course of dealing with this pandemic. And a lot has been accomplished in that time. And I want to thank the Premiers and the Chief Ministers for the way they have come together with the federal government to respond to one of the biggest challenges that our country has seen, and certainly in the post-war era. It has been a very difficult time. Australians are hurting right here and right now, as we were reminded so terribly yesterday. And almost 600,000 people having lost jobs. And it has been a national cabinet that has been very aware, very aware of these impacts. And they have made difficult decisions together to protect the health of Australians, but also to protect the livelihoods of Australians as well. During that time, the National Cabinet has fought the virus together, and together with Australians, we have been flattening that curve very successfully. We have put the supports in place, both the health supports and the economic supports, to help Australians through this very difficult time. And indeed, this time last week, we made the decisions to put the framework together, which is now being followed, those three steps, which is reopening and taking those first steps to see Australians get back into those jobs. Now the task is to really build that confidence and to get that momentum going as we move to the next challenge, which is to reset the Australian economy for growth, support Australians and their livelihoods well into the future. Australia's Federation has stood up in the last two months in and the Premiers and the Chief Ministers have played a great role in taking those steps together. And we've learnt many lessons about how we can work together better in the future, and we will have more to say about that in the weeks and months ahead. Today, the National Cabinet was briefed by Dr Kennedy, the Head of Treasury, Dr Lowe, the Head of Reserve Bank, and Wayne Byers, the Head of APRA. It was an opportunity and important one to be briefed fully on yesterday's unemployment figures and how it was impacting across the country. It was also an opportunity uh, for Premiers and Chief Ministers and I to reaffirm our commitment to see how we can work together and how we will work together to get those Australians back into jobs. That is the curve we are now working on together. We noted during that briefing that the stability had returned to financial markets uh, while they are fragile and they remain very functional. We noted that our banking system has stood up well, but we must be conscious that the shock absorbers that are in our system, whether it be in the banking system or indeed in federal supports and other supports, they have limits. They are not endless. They have capacity. And it's essential that as we move forward that we continue to enable the credit to flow through our banking system to support those businesses who are taking decisions to reopen, to rehire and to move ahead. Some $220 billion in loan deferrals have already been put in place in our banking system. About two-thirds of that uh, in mortgages and one-third for small and medium-sized enterprises. The banks have also not been enforcing, uh, broadly speaking, covenants and they've been holding off on revaluations and, and uh, not pursuing um, recovery actions other than for pre-existing cases. Insolvencies are currently running below average. That's obviously supported by what I've just said in terms of the actions that banks have been taking, but also importantly, one of the significant protections that we put in place as a federal government early on was the protections against actions by creditors and others against uh, enterprises in relation to pursuing them and forcing them into liquidation. 
In addition, the super system, they're advised, is responding very well. The superannuation system with some $11.7 billion in claims.